Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. That's far enough. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Elanis Risk Control Services. Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance Navy. The next Navy patrol isn't due for another two weeks. You're a long way from home, Commander. Home is a state of mind. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Ovaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Citadel authority supersedes yours. Stand down. Their house, their rules. I'll be behind you. That armor's in good condition. Captain Matsuo, stand down. We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. I'm sure Parasini-san will answer any questions you have. Get out of here. Weapons protectors, don't mind the phones. 
I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I'm not here to dig out any corporate secrets. That's gratifying to hear. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago, Lady Benezia. Saren's aide is here. Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. Commander, it might be wise to bring Dr. Tassoni along. She knows her brother better than any of us. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay. Hmm. The managers warned us about you. How can I help you? How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Ilanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Binary Helix. They work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. Haven't I seen synthetic insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. They attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in.
You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. Excuse me, his what? Executor. Saren is a major shareholder in Binary Helix. Lady Benezia is authorized to act in his name. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Do you do business with Saren? I believe I explained this already, did I not? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Mr. Analeus isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanjam. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. All right, what would you do? Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not within earshot of Mr. Analeus. You said I should talk to Lorik Keen? Mr. Analeus isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanshan. Keen spends his days at the hotel since his office was closed. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. The managers warned us about you, Spectre. You're the Spectre, right? Um, management told us not to talk to you. Don't make us regret letting you keep those guns.
inspector, right? Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my Eco's people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. What can I do for you today? You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's the problems up on Peak 15. Synthetics Insights was shut down by Analeus. And the Matriarch came through. Do you know where that Matriarch is now? You looking for her? She took a shuttle to Peak 15 before we lost contact. What sort of problems are there at Peak 15? Don't know. There's a blizzard up there, but we've had those before. Never cut the satellite uplinks before. 15's always had a lousy reputation. Nobody talks about what they do there. And everyone sent up comes back a little quieter. What do you do here? I'm the chief mechanic for Hanshin. Just call me Lee. Humans have a problem saying my full name. Got a team of 12 under me, keeping the shuttles coming and going. How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas or the managers, if you can polish enough gizzard. Maybe you could let me borrow yours? Sure. If I wanted to lose my job and get sued into the next spiral arm, security tracks card use. I have to go. You need anything? I'll be here. Access to the garage is restricted. I'm on Citadel business. I need to leave this station. If you want to enter the garage, you need authorization for Mr. Analeas. No exceptions. I'm sorry. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses they will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 
500 credits. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off-topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I just I realized... he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I just realized I've been muted for all this time on my mic. So, the audio quality of this episode has been garbage, so far. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am gonna have to repeat this part, because I didn't pay attention. So, tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off-topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. Okay. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. Gotcha. Thank you. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. Yes. It's a side quest. Oh, you're my guy. What's all about? Good. I'm supposed to mention numbers. They don't write them down on a thin strip. Full benefits, of course. Ah, oh, sure. The company takes care of its own. Full insurance, paid vacation, subsidized housing. After a year, I'd start getting stock options. You hear about the resort, then? At the equator. Bounce backing, diving, an accredited asset you're afield. If you like that sort of thing, I'd rather admire the view. Right. You're the Spectre, right? Management told us not to talk to you. You're Vargas, so who is this guy? Oh, I can't talk to any of you. Never mind. Can I help you? Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, the Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas, sales. Were you interested in our services? I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. I'm sure you know that we pass a new budget every fiscal year. If it delivers a better soldier, contracts can change. A sound business practice. Excuse my hesitation, I've never heard a government accused of good business sense. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. You can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. I've never heard of a technique that improves zero gravity endurance. It's a first for the industry. The advent of element zero-based artificial gravity made it a less pressing concern. We're still waiting for tests to give us an average improvement. We estimate a 7 to 11% decrease in muscle loss rates. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. Are you sure that's the best price you can offer? Absolutely. That's the standard rate. Of course, if the government moves forward with this on an official level, there might be some additional discounts. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. Okay. Well, I wear a lot of hats, Mr. Vargas. Some days I shut down criminals, some days I defuse nukes, some days I like to enjoy private vices. You understand me? I suppose. My apologies. 
Your manner is rather informal for a business meeting. Sorry, Mr. Vargas. That's a call I had to take. Thank you for your time. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to doing business with the city. Results? Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. Only 500. All right. Thought you might have wanted to provide more since you couldn't do it yourself. I mean, did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. Thank you, Lee. Renegade. <laughs> It's fine. I don't mind. Let's go! Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office, for the moment at least. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas's actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Why didn't Analeas cancel your pass clearance? Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Napak. How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the... lotion? Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. Okay. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. Mm -hmm. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep bloodstains off the carpets, would you? Yes, thank you. So, he says that Matsuo doesn't know, so I'm gonna see if I can talk to her. Man, I'm so sorry about forgetting to unmute the mic. That is so dumb of me. I'm so sorry. They're not here. Alright, this is a waste because they're not here. Son of a... This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. Absolutely. Shoot. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. 
This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain anonymous. I'd be stupid to do this without knowing that I'm not equipping my own enemies. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy... fees. Is there anything else this one might help you with? Yes. Could I buy something now? <laughs> is there anything in particular the Spectre is looking for? Yo, Codex. In the early 21s, the Hanar are a citadel species known for excessive politeness. They speak with scrupulous precision and take offense at improper language. Hanar that expect to deal with other species take special courses to help them unlearn their tendency to take offense at improper speech. All Hanar have two names. The face name is known to the world. The soul name is kept for use among close friends and relations. Hanar never refer to themselves in the first person in conversation with someone they know on a face name basis. To do so is considered egotistical, so instead they refer to themselves as this one, or the impersonal it. Their homeworld, Kajay, has 90% ocean cover and orbits an energetic white star, resulting in a permanent blanket of cloud. Due to the presence of Prothean ruins on the world, many Hanar worship them, and Hanar myths often speak of an elder race that civilized them by teaching them language. Sorry. All right. Um. There's nothing here. Oh, these are not stairs. What the okay, these are. Don't hang up, elder brother. It's me. I'm on Navaria now. I can't talk long. This call is costing ten credits a minute. It's real time from the Traverse. Did you think it would be cheap? I need some information. There's an issue here with synthetic insight. The manager, Laura Keen, who got caught with the code yet. The office is closed by extension to administrators. Uh, I need you to see what you can find out about. Are you ready for your home? Ronadville, Gon, Swah, Bolsoon, Therapy, Nar, EAD, Bella, and Aureus. No, that's the administrator. The Hanshin administrator. Well, think about it. A Turian wouldn't risk getting his office closed. They don't compromise their team. That's drilled into the boot camp. I think the administrator is using this team fellow to draw flies from his own touch. Of course I could look it up myself. But do you think I'm likely to get any unfiltered data through Novaria's own network? That, and it would take forever for any out-system search results to get back here. Thank you, Elder Brother. I have to go. Yes. I'll speak to you soon. Nice. Yo! What do you want? I've heard Opal has something for you. Like I care that you know? You as courier or something? 
Yes, but I haven't picked up his cargo yet. Hmm. Sit down a minute. What? I have a business proposal. I'm paying the Hanar more than I want. I'll bet he's paying you less than you want. Sell it to me directly. I'll consider your offer. Make the right decision. Trade the the thing, NR. Not sure if you'll receive this, Doctor, but it is imperative you make your way to the safe location. Your history with our organization has been leaked. Your base in the Newton system is no longer secure. I repeat, make your way to the safe location immediately. Yo. Can I talk to this man? I'm sorry. The hotel is off limits to those without a corporate account. Alright, no problem. Um, let me just go get the thing. The packaging. I really feel bad for NR, so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to him. Hi. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? Yes. Here you are. The Spectre has done a great service for this one. From the deepness of light, it thanks you. This one promised compensation for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits would be most appropriate. Would you have had any chance of getting this past customs without me? You can be a bit more generous. The other's words possess the discomforting ring of truth. This one could raise the sum to 500 credits that is half this one's profit taken by the other. It can offer no more. That's thoughtful of you. This one is glad to have come to an agreement. I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your return. Thank you so much. Chen security. This office is sealed. What are you doing in these offices? The administrator's orders. Laura Keene is under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keene. Analeas has a varin up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you.
I see the shadow. Alright, I have a bunch of stuff to decrypt. Or whatever it's called. Oh, thank you, whoever did that. Try again. I don't know what's wrong with me. What? That was dumb. Oh Lord. Holy shit, that was lucky. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. You have me at a disadvantage, miss. Oh, now you're gonna show some respect? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off duty, breaking the law for bribe money. I didn't want to fight them. They fired first. Oh shit! Oh, I need a gun.
But I think there is one room that I actually haven't checked. Come on, tell me it's clear, buddies. Or not. Missing person report to the attention of administrator Analeas. A man named Garoff is looking for information on the whereabouts of one of our friars. He believes his brother's ship may have been attacked by privateers while traveling through the strenuous system. Investigation pending. There have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? It's probably Analeas's thugs ripping the place apart. Smartass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. Oh, really? Hi. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Harasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. What do you want? The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six oh. months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, this month I stole three million credits. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. Don't be rude to me. I thought corruption was the rule on Novaria. The rule is, don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. I need King's Garage Pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. Analeas is dirty. It might be best to help her. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. All right, I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. Christ. She didn't mean to be so rude. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job. But an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas' extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board is investigating Analeas. They'll be more angry at him than at you. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Yeah. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. Thank you. Uh, she works at Analia's office. Have you given any more consideration to my offer? 
It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a specter and all. I guess some of you can be all right. So, how about getting me into the garage? While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. Thank you. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. I'll take a beer. Can I investigate his office? Because that would be dope. That would be so dope. <gasps> Where is it? Where is it? <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Hell yeah. Oh, sorry. All right. Okay, so now that we have adjusted the equipment um, on the squad, time to go to the garage. Access to the garage is restricted. I know. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Alutsk Valley. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, what? Is that a frog? Oh, hell no. Do we fight? I see these are what the matriarch had in the crates. The matriarch? Oh. No one gets in or out. Let me talk to her. What did you do here, Commander? The Geth ambushed us. We fought back. That's it. Geth? You expect me to... Where did they come from? If I were to guess, the Matriarch packed them in the shipping container she arrived with. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. If Benezia Sama's containers were packed with these things, there are many more out there. I need numbers, Captain. A dozen? A hundred? Dozens, at least. They're machines. You could pack them tightly. I must report to the Executive Board. If word gets out about loose geth, there may be an investor panic. Okay. I need an idea of this place. Oh, you don't want me here? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh. Okay, so now there are guards here. Yo. my car? Yay! Come on, wheels! Yeah, we have it. Oh, I can't- I can't move the map. Alright. Can I leave? Yes. All right. Just making sure.
is that Turian?
Oh, cool. I just realized I forgot the other one. No one, Garrus, I'm sorry. I want to go get the, the item pickup that I missed. Also on this side? Wow. No, oh, okay. All right, guys, let's go. things, there's looty loot. What? That's dumb. Snipey. Pistol, sniper, light. Damn it.
Oh, goodness me. Where? Just want to see if there's loot, anything. I don't think so. All right. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Sheppy. Sorry. Oh my god. Are they outside? Oh. game why wouldn't you have my teammates come with me game have suffered a great deal of damage. Nice. Biohazard materials present throughout facility. Thank Virtual you. intelligence user interface offline. That is fine. Shh. Are you serious? Need to get the reactors back online. That's fine, buddy. Fuck. Okay. Let's let, let's 
uh, explore the rest. Why are the turrets facing the wrong way? They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out. Hmm. Interesting. Before activating the elevator, it's fine. Let's go. Here we go, people. Biology is not my field. Maybe someone in the labs knows. Okay. Oh. You 
know the drill? Pause if you'd like to read. Where's the other one? Is it this? How do I leave? Sorry. Memory core one is damaged. Transfer module stack to core two, to core two or three track. Click on the shutdown button to exit. Thank <laughs> you. 
get it. Yay! It looks like you're oh. trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? You're the virtual intelligence that runs this place? This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? Commander Shepard, I work for the Citadel Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. One moment, please. Council authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to Binary Helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within Peak 15. I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. What's the situation here? One moment, please. Diagnostics in progress. Critical failure. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? Do you know why the reactor was shut down? I'm sorry, but I was offline at the time. Shutdown could occur if reactor breach seems likely, or in the case of catastrophic laboratory containment failure. Emergency guidelines suggest the frigid environment will kill biological contagions. It may also damage mechanical ones. Turn off the heat and hope the cold puts whatever you have unleashed to sleep. What do I need to do to get the power back on? The valves to the helium-3 fuel line must be opened. This can be done at the controls on the reactor assembly proper. What are the landlines and why are they disabled? The landlines connect my mainframes here at Central Station to the various sub-facilities of Peak 15. This allows the crew to remotely access my databases from the comfort and security of their labs. When emergency protocols were implemented within the hot labs, the cabling was automatically ejected. How do I reconnect the landlines? The landlines are designed for easy reconnection. The router for the landlines is on the roof of operations. Simply activate the controls and the hardware will reconnect and reboot automatically. Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Tell me what occurred immediately before you shut down. Stage 1 alert issued at Hot Labs. Contaminants released from Laboratory Pod Gamma. Emergency protocols implemented. Stage 2 alert issued at Hot Labs. Isolation 2 breached. Tram shut down. Landline to Hot Labs disconnected. Stage 3 alert issued locally. Contaminants in tram tunnels. Station shutdown and evacuation initiated. Code Omega sent. What sort of contaminants escaped? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Only executives of Binary Helix have that level of clearance. The creatures we've encountered here, did they come from the labs? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Only executives of Binary Helix have that Why were you level. taken offline? In the event, Peak 15 must be sterilized for security purposes. My program and data are purged. They kill you if something goes wrong? My systems are permanently disabled. To be killed, I would need to be alive. I am merely a database program. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Hold on, then. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Elevator to roof. I do need to go here.
things about. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. All I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. User alert. Main reactor shut down. That's it? That's it. Okay. Chevy. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedure. Tram. Manual restart required. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. One thing at a time, please. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. I 
see. haven't explored or what? making sure Sorry, Jesus Christ. decontamination and transit hub user alert loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber access to passenger tramways inadvisable why the door could be finessed no talk to me liara now is not the time Control group losing the. They're in. We can't escape. Up the tunnels now. We're sorry. The leads couldn't get to the truck. Out while you can. He killed himself because he was part of whatever happened here. Looks like it. He must have felt there was no hope of surviving. That killing himself would be easier. <sighs> oh. Did I just talk to him? Connections restored. Processing new data. User alert. Unable to connect to hot lab facilities. What's this about loose contaminants? Dangerous oh, biological sorry. agents are present in the tramway decontamination chamber. The tram station has been sealed in the interest of crew safety. Activation of the fail-safe plasma jets is recommended prior to access. How do I activate the fail-safe system? Controls for the fail-safe systems are located in the security checkpoint outside decontamination. User alert. The fail-safe system is currently inoperable. What would it take to get the decon fail-safes operating again? There is a hardware fault in the control system. This can be repaired on-site using a standard Omni tool. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out.
did you know electronics? I have you. Yes. Let's go, Liara. Let's fucking go. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. shooting at what Oh, Lord, Sheppy. Guys. There you are. Departing Central Station. Destination, Rift Station. Now arriving at Rift Station. Binary Helix Research Facility. Friendly. Stand down. Hello. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. Mm. I'd do the same. What's going on here? Bugs. Zillions of them coming up the tunnels from the hot labs. My team's been running on stems for days. Look, you're human, and that's enough that I won't shoot. I'd like to know who you are. My name's Shepard. I'm a Spectre. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. What? The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there anymore. At first we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. We've never seen anything like them. What do you know? I'm no xenobiologist. They're fast, vicious, and there's a hell of a lot of them. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. I'm not gonna let any of your people die. All I can do is hold out here and protect the civilians. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. Thank you. Tell me about Rift Station. I can't talk about everything. What do you need to know? Tell me about the defenses here. Secure enough that you shouldn't poke in corners. I was just impressed with your operation. Being able to weather a week of assaults is no mean feat. Only the best get assigned to high security facilities like this. What impresses me most is the turrets, alarms, and cameras. They're all routed through a central location out by the quarantine labs. One guy can lock down the whole facility. The security hub's the last logical fallback, and we'd have cover from the turrets all the way. What kind of research is done here? Beats me. I'm not supposed to know. So long as people don't start dying, it's not my problem. What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only volus left in here. I need to know more about the situation in the hot labs. The facility's off the network. The only way to find out would be to send scouts down the elevator, and I won't send my people to their death. 
Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from the outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. Tell me about the structure of the hot labs. It's built into one of the glaciers further down the mountain. Real old, thick stable. If something goes wrong, they heat it up and sink it into the ice. Normally, the crew gets to the labs using a tram from Central Station. We've got an elevator that connects directly, but it's for emergency use only. Uh, listen, I'm not sending my people down there. It's too dangerous. You understand? Yes, I do. You're certain the matriarch is still in the hot labs? She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. Okay. How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. They made it inside. We lost some good people. Those of us left are shorthanded. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Here we go. Hell! Man the perimeter! Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. I think they're machines. I think. This map seriously. I can't tell you this is where I want to go. Wait a second. Maybe there's someone else I can talk to in here. Were they in the lab? I never went in the high security areas. You're not gonna go to the hot labs, are you? What the hell? What? You're a member of the science teams. Recently transferred, yes. What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic enhanced allele specific hybridization. Yeah, that's a bit technical for me. I am very good at tracking inherited variations in genetic sequences. I'm sure you would find it quite dull. Okay. You seem less upset about this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. Oh man, fuck off. Tell me about yourself. I am Alestiae Alice from the University of Arrhaeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? Did I interrupt something? I was meditating. I suppose to a species as brash as yours, it would appear to be inattention. Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? That's all for now. I swear to God, I was then fucking... I will return to my meditations. I would, I would seriously cuss this woman out. She was, she just bug out and leave to die. Their fault anyway. I mean, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what? I needed that. I needed that. Got a smoke? We're all out. Nah, dude. I 
items to know. What? No! What? Sorry. I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Is there something you need? What sort of work do you do here? I can't say. I signed a non-disclosure agreement. If we survive, I'd like to keep my job. The location is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. You're not happy on Peak 15? The outside world doesn't exist here. Just walls of ice and rock. There's only the work, the discovery. It's easy to forget why science is guided by ethics. Maybe we're paying for that now. Hmm. What do you know about the hot labs? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. Okay. What do you do here? I'm a toxicologist. I can't talk about my work. Not that I'm doing anything since the accident. There was an accident here? I can't talk about what happened. Not here. Too public. Talk to Dr. Cohen in the medical ward. He was the project lead. I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ayalis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Okay. Uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously, I am curious to know what you're doing here. I heard there were some problems up here. Furtively, I am concerned about the state of our guards. Many have been awake for days. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. This doesn't seem like the time for commerce. With nervous amusement, I have nothing else to do. Why not continue to run my kiosk? Let's have a look. Regretfully, hmm. most of my stock has been appropriated by Captain Ventralis. It's fine. Alright, awesome. So, I bought a Metagel upgrade. And I also bought a, uh, a license for our ship, so that we can get even more stuff to buy um, in, you know, inside of Normandy. But where is the guard barracks? Jesus. Mm, yes.
goes downstairs. I see. What, what, what do you want? Were they attacked by the aliens? They're suffering from a toxin. It was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I understand your caution, but I need details. What you say won't go beyond these walls. It's a bioweapon, based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Thoros B is highly infectious, but you can't pass from one person to another. Like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. It doesn't matter how safe you make it. Biological weapons are illegal. Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another. And we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. Is there a cure, Doctor? A treatment? Our first priority was getting it working. We were close to synthesizing an antidote when Mira went down. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. What will it take to get the cure for these people? The quarantine labs are near the science team's quarters. Once you're in there, look for our notes. It should just be a matter of following our processes. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. This system is online and ready to provide emergency services. Think you could run that equipment for us? Certainly, Commander. One moment, please. This is awesome. This system is online and ready to provide emergency services. What's wrong with these people? Accessing logs. They were in the midst of an experiment when the shutdown began. When you were taken offline, Without my program to administrate containment procedures, a quarantine breach occurred. Sorry, um, I'm bleeding from my chin. Ouch. Um, what treatments have been attempted? I'm afraid treatment is not possible. An unknown toxin is present within the tissues of each patient. What are you doing over here? I administrate the systems of all of the various Peak 15 facilities. All right. We don't need anything right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Now. Right. Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. 
Dr. Cohen says there's no risk of contamination. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before he'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Those are reasonable precautions. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. <laughs> You said you let me in. The door was... Thank you. 
can't, I can't fucking deal with this fucking map. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I fucking hate this map. Like, give me a fucking mini map, seriously. Seriously, the, um, the map, in my opinion, is very poorly uh, designed with how easy it is to, instead of dragging, to just either exit it or drop a fucking ping where you don't want it. I'm so confused because of the fucking mini map. This is so confusing. No, don't touch me. No. I'm really disappointed with how this went. Like, I just don't understand, like, he said he was going to talk to security, and then the fucker didn't. And, like, he just wouldn't let me go through, so I hacked this thing. I hate this. I freaking hate this. Like this is very badly designed in my opinion, this section of the of the game. Like it's not just about the the mini map. privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told her about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. 
I now realize I should have been strict with her. Venezia's power level. Light. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly. But the indoctrination is strong. Why are you able to break free of his control now? I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him. It will not last long. So you could turn on me again? Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves around Sarah. You come to idolize him, worship him, you would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. 
I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mu Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Can I assume you found the coordinates? 2,000 years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. How did the Rachni find it? They searched, patiently. They are territorial creatures, driven to close any possible way into their systems. Why does Saren need the new relay? He believes it will lead him to the Conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die. Shit. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Metagel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Yara? Mother. Fuck. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a...
this one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange. Flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. The Krogan wiped out the Rachni a thousand years ago. The sky is quiet now. Our mother's songs are lost. And those who slew us now walk to meet the same fate. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen. They stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. All right. I don't think they'll give me a choice anyway. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Yes. Are we to fade away once more? No. The Ragnar were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve her. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us. Or return our people to the silence of memory. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No. We... I... Do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance. Songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children.
please talk to me, and I am sorry for killing a bunch of people. Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? I don't understand anything yet. What were you doing here? Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Ragnar's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. They brought it here to wake it up? Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Obviously, they were wrong. Uh, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. <sighs> I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the purge system. It creates burst of neutron radiation. Kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will get near the start a new recording. Uh, give me just a second. Alright guys, I believe that the new recording uh, is set up. to the facility and I'm at your disposal. How many Rachni are in here? I'm sorry, the sensor network is too damaged to provide an accurate count. <sighs> Give me your best guess. Guessing is beyond my design parameters, Commander. We're moving on. Logging you out, Commander. I don't think, like, I want the cure first, like, I just don't even know. I fumbled this entire section of the game. the neutron purge I'm sorry but I can't do that without proper code authorization code input 8750200079 code omega local execution verify code omega execution in 120 seconds
killed everybody, I think. This elevator is locked. I can't go there anymore. And like, I don't even have those in the um, in the lab anymore. very poorly designed. I'm pretty sure that the captain told me, I, w I am going to speak the security to let you in. Oh my god. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. Look, this is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yes, please. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. My children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Thank you. Demi increase. Okay, I feel a bit better that it didn't increase. Because I really feel that the game uh, kind of backstabbed me there a little bit. Um, come here. Chevy. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, offline. I'm just gonna sell stuff, equip all my, my crew member with, you know, whatever equipment suits them best. Um, next episode, we'll be starting with the side missions that we found. Uh, particularly this one and this one, if I'm, if we're able to. And then, uh, Pharaohs. We have to, um, to do this. Um, so, yeah. Once again, a very long episode. I hope that nonetheless, this was very enjoyable. Um, despite my complaints with the game so far, um, and being aware that the the game, like the core, um, you know, is just from an entirely different gaming generation, with you know, with more um, basic resources. Let's put it that way. There are some things that honestly, I feel that they just aren't. Um, that they haven't aged well right, that they aren't polished 
up to nowadays standards and and I completely understand that time and technology um, you know you have to take in, into consideration uh, what resources were at the developers uh, disposal at the time the game was made but still I think it's fair to say that this whole section of the game is a little bit poorly designed and um, there are some glitches as well like when your teammates just get stuck on doors or just get stuck somewhere um, and then you're just stuck by yourself and chances are you're gonna die because you have like an army in front of you and uh, you're the only target that the AI can, can, can get to so you have a lot more chances to just be overwhelmed um, so I really wish that the game you know, being a new, um, is this a what, a remaster type of thing, I think? Um, if, like, if they were, have been able to just, um, fix a, a little bit of these things, uh, I'll greatly appreciate it. And the map, I fucking hate the map, because, um, it's so easy to just, like, drop stupid shit everywhere, like, look at this, it doesn't make sense that you would put something here that's completely out of bounds. Not only that, like, if I just want to, like, drag the map, I have to be very careful with where the cursor is, because I have to be within the, the bounds. Because if I click here to... Oh, now you don't. Ah. Uh, okay. So... If I do here, nothing happens. If I do here, it just brings me here. Like... Okay, so if I click in an icon, then it just closes the map for me. So instead of, like, allowing me to drag, it just gets out. So this is annoying. This is very annoying. Um, but yeah. Seriously, I'm loving the game despite the what I feel are our shortcomings and I'm gonna continue playing and I, I'm oh my god I'm so into it and I really um, I'm in no rush to to finish the game I want to enjoy it as much as I can like I, I just can't get enough of this game so far so anyways I talk too much uh, thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it and I'll see you soon